Good morning, everybody. Um, thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. Um, this one will be a real quickie. I just thought I'd come on to talk about Megan and uh, show you my my uh, my stash of tamarinds while I'm at while I'm at it. <laughs> I got these tamarinds the other day um, at this specialty store and I'm like I don't know what I want to make with them but in the meantime I think I'll just have um, a couple for snack as I am in the middle of some stuff over here but I, I realized oops I did not make a video this morning either and uh, so I'm like okay I've got to make a video so I saw I stopped by uh, Sussex Family TV and he was basically having an absolute um, you know how would I want to say he was blowing his gasket over there Brian because of this woman um, Kinsey Schofield I, I kind of try to avoid calling these people by their names. Like, I mean, it's like, I don't even want to give them that privilege, you know, because I don't feel like some of these people deserve even the privilege of having their names become household names when their job seems to be just harassing and making people feel bad, in particular Megan, right? And this woman, uh, Kinsey Schofield, is an expert at making Megan feel bad. Well, let me reword that. I don't know that she makes Megan feel bad. I'm, I'm not even sure that Megan even knows who she is. And I'm sure Megan doesn't really listen to any of her, whatever you want to call this, that she spews. But, um, you know, she does, she seems to have become more prominent lately, having gotten her own YouTube channel and so on. So, so there's that. But, uh, so Brian was, was basically melting down because um, this woman, Kinsey, tried to imply that Megan had it made when she was with the royal family. And so the implication being that now she's now a nobody. She's a has-been. Nobody cares about her. But if she was still in the royal family, she would have had it made and she did have it made. But that she was not very appreciative and very thankful of it, of what she had, what she had been given despite her... Um, negative points despite her minuses you know she was a divorced woman who was not a virgin for example and this woman Kinsey talks about the fact that Princess Diana was a virgin and I guess um, Fergie was a virgin and I guess Queen Elizabeth was a virgin and I guess Kate Middleton was a virgin and then you have this this um, divorcee from America who, I mean, not only is she not a virgin, but I mean, some of the things that this woman Kinsey have said, I mean, you would think that Megan was, you know, I mean, I don't even want to say the words, right? You guys, I'm working on, just to, to digress a little bit, don't be scared. These are grapes that I've been trying to crush. I want to make a wine this time with, with some wild grapes because um, you know, I, there were all these wild grapes. No one's, no one's using them. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to put them to use. I mean, the birds can eat them too, but you know, I figure I can help the birds, right? So I have to figure out how to make a, a, a home wine, like something really basic. So that's, this is the beginning process. Okay. Now I digress. So back to this woman, Kinsey. So, you know, she made some statement about the virginity of Princess Diana and she implied that all of these royal brides were virgins and Megan, of course, was married before. So, I mean, if you're married before, probably you're not a virgin. So she has a whole thing with this virgin. I think Kinsey herself might even be a virgin too, right? Um, and so, so there's that. So Megan's lack of virginity is like the new thing, right? <sighs> good for Kate and, 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 and Fergie and Fergie's daughters and all of them, right? These are all virgins, right? When they got married on their wedding night, it was the first time they're like, oh my gosh, what is that? What's, what's that dangling thing? Oh my God, I've never seen one of those before. Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God. Mm. Okay, so I, I'm imagining that that's what they were doing on their wedding nights. Um, and then there was the expert Megan who was not, not a virgin. Anyway, that all being said, um, what do I have to say about any of this? I really don't have anything to say about it. I think that Kinsey may be well served if maybe she, she, she tries to infiltrate the royal family in a different way. She seems to believe that she would have been a better wife for Harry 
Harry seems to be taken, at least for the moment, with his wife, Megan. So Kinsey can find somebody else. Camilla's got a son, right? He's free. He just wrote a book. There are other people in the royal family. She can infiltrate in that way and get in there and show us how to be a virgin royal bride, right? She doesn't have to, you know, stick herself like a snail, like a, a wood slave on the Duchess of Sussex, Megan, because the fact that Megan was not thankful is Megan's business. Megan moved on to something better for Megan. You know, if Megan really wanted to stay, I imagine she would have stayed and she would have insisted that her husband Harry stayed if it was that important for her to be this princess, be part of this royal family, this, that, and the next. It seems to be infinitely more important to Kinsey and her ilk to have these titles and to have this lifestyle. So I, I would suggest that she infiltrates. I mean, she has, you know, a vagina. Um, I don't know if it's a virgin, but put it to some use, right? Um, go in there, get things done. Stop throwing stones at Megan. Megan moved on to something that she likes better for her. And I think every woman should have what she thinks is best for her. If she wants a royal husband, go get that. If she wants to be by herself, do that. You know, whatever. But don't sit there casting stones at another woman and, and aspersions on her lack of, 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 her, of her hymen. Um, is that what it's called? Um because you are so racked with jealousy. You even superimposed your face on this woman's engagement photo with her, her, her then fiancé. So we know what, what you're thinking. Go get your own husband. You have, you, you've you got a, a vagina. I don't know whether it's virgin or not. I don't know what business it is of yours. 